It's the Midweek Roundup. Hey folks, welcome to the Midweek Roundup. This week we are joined by Martin. He's going to be critiquing all your lovely artwork. Hello everybody. You got my head in this time. I've got your head in this time, yeah. Okay, I'll do this. It's full of some so. What have we got this week? This week, first of all, we're going to apologise if you hear a lot of banging and clattering from the door outside. We have tried our best to uh, keep the noise down, but we're shipping the Kickstarter. It's Hellboy Kickstarter yet again. Um, everything's starting to leave our building. Everything's starting to leave some of the hubs. Um, so it's all go, go, go. It's great to see in so many boxes. Good we've not yeah. seen the store look like that for a long time. Where it's just jam-packed. I'm, I'm, I'm both excited at seeing stock in the, uh, the shop leaving from a yay Kickstarter point of view, <laughs> and also really excited because I don't have to ship it now that I've moved out of the warehouse and into the office. Double win. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, Shall we look at some lovely photos? Yeah, I'm trying not to look at the screen. Okay, I am looking at the screen now. <laughs> got two screens. Uh, so this is Anthony Donati. Uh, he's done a rather large orc fleet. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I, I think the two things that stand out for me are the, the it's close to the box art. So yeah, very the, similar colours, isn't it? Yeah, and the way he's done the sea as well. It's very bright. Yeah. I love it because of the matte is so like an azure blue, isn't it? Very yeah. bright blue. Yeah. I think any of the bases that people do that match that kind of brightness, I think works yeah. really, really well. The brightness of the sea as well. With like it's quite a quite dusty sort of matte finish. Yeah. You say to the to the actual ships. Lovely job. It's nice. And it was BrickCon here in Nottingham this uh, weekend just gone. I believe Elliot Morish won with his Twilight Kin. So it was great to see lots and lots of Kings of War being played. Obviously, the past couple of years we've had, it's fantastic to see people out there gaming again. So is it 3,000 points, was it? 3,000 points aside? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Off the top of my head, I'm not too sure. Yeah, uh, show me a link. I know Ronnie got to go and have yeah, a look. Yeah, Ronnie went and had a nosy, didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I didn't have time to go and have yeah. a look, but brilliant. Uh, last week we had Ewan Turner with the Strider and Rob was really keen to see when the rest of the Strike Force was finished and we've just found this other image as well uh, since where they've got some more uh, troopers painted and I think you'll agree the basin's great. That's it? great, so I like, I like the, the gold, I also like the gold on the on the screen, yeah, it's giving yeah. that, that shine mm -hmm. um, and the yeah, basin's brilliant. Yeah, yeah, we were saying last week that the, the, the gun of the Strider being yellow just really like adds a bit of contrast to the to the rest of it and then also bring ties in the, the hazard stripes and, and then when you got the you got some of the red as well on the shoulders so adds, yep. adds a nice bit of uh, colour variation in it. Yep. great job for you nice uh, marauder ripper uh, lovely job so it's done quite a lot of weathering in it as well yeah it looks to be yeah it's, it's like bronzes and silvers but then sort of toned down with, with weathering over the top yeah yeah, and a bit of a modification, I think he's removed the, the teeth necklace. Yes, sure yeah. That was a good thing, but, you know, yeah. each to their own, I guess. Yeah. Well, I suppose it's the option if, if you decide you want two in your force, you can you can make them look a little different then yeah, as well, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Some more boats, another Orc Smasher, this time with black sails. It's really, really nice. I love the, the flame work in the uh, the mouth. It's even given a, it's a bit of OSL in there, I think. I think so, yeah, just yeah. a little bit, yeah. I think it goes to show how characterful the... You know, certainly some of the earlier ships where we had yeah. with with the orcs it was just it's amazing to see yeah. it's, it's just it makes me laugh every time i see them i think, I think <laughs> orcs just in general in the fantasy <laughs> setting are, are always just great for yeah being able to just go above and beyond with with your imagination really you'll have they? to find yeah. that meme have you seen the meme with the, the two golfers and is it daily and tiger woods yeah and yeah find that meme and post it up okay <laughs> <laughs> um nice to see some flyers as well um Always, uh, always good to see. Yeah, we just got back from from Gen Con, and the star of the show was it absolutely was Armada. It was yeah. uh, like from the moment we opened to the last sort of demo was was pure Armada, yeah. and uh, yeah, it sold really, really well. So, uh, and it's nice to see it getting out there and more it's, and more. It's one of those that shows as well, isn't it? That I know when I've done shows as well. If you're walking past tables and tables of brown and green yes. boards and you see a big blue board, you go, oh, what's that? Yes, exactly. It's, uh, it's very eye turning. Uh, yeah, it's one of its strengths. Eye turning? Eye catching and neck turning. Okay. There we go. <laughs> More boats. <laughs> uh, Idiot Proof Dalek. Um, if you've seen any of the work uh, previously on our midweek roundup or anything, you know, the paintwork is absolutely superb, isn't it? And it's well, really nice to see that. He's famed for his, his Basilean, yeah. hasn't he? Because he's. He's been showing those off for the past few years because yeah. I've been lucky enough to go to Clash. Mm. 
and uh, he's always up there or thereabouts with best painted for his army. Yeah. So it's interesting how he's carried his uh, Kings of War theme, yep. colour theme through to, to his Armada fleet. Yeah, I think it ties them all in nicely, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And then Kevin Haney has done a rather large amount of uh, plague zombies for firefight. Uh, I picked these out because I really liked just how sort of subtle and plain and, and faint the, the paintwork yeah, was. It's great, um, doesn't it? It's something Especially really different. Coming really towards nice. it. Yeah, <laughs> it almost looks like it should glow in the dark. Yeah, and it? the fact that all the basing matches as well. It's, yeah, it's uh, it's a good job there. Yeah, really nice. And then lastly, we've got uh, Marcus with his Cronius. I picked this out because I thought it was the really nice, uh, different highlights of the the different colours within the Cronius. And I just thought it was a great battle image as well, coming up against the uh, the frost fire. It's almost like a reverse of what you'd normally expect, when, you know, with its the flames being the dark and the the actual uh, torso and arms being yeah, yeah, not thought of that actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it looks like a, a rather violent uh, yeah. <laughs> encounter, doesn't it, with, his, with the yeah. horn of the frost fire? Which way you putting that horn? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, fantastic work by everybody. That's it this week. Um, thanks to Martin for joining us. No and, problem. Uh, as we say, usual, if you want to be featured, make sure you use the hashtag MyMantic, sticking it on all the socials, and we'll keep an eye out for some more fantastic painted miniatures. Cheers, everyone. See you later, guys. See ya, bye.